A lot of people don't like globalization. I think globalization did a fantastic job in the past 30 years. They pump up the global trade, but it's a growing pain. It's a still a baby, only 30 years old. The thing, the problem is that it benefit 20% of the developed countries. 80% of developing countries don't have chance. Young people don't have chance. The globalization the past 30 years was controlled by 60,000 big companies. We think should at least the 16 million or 30 million or 60 million small business, young people should be able to sell. Small business like anybody sitting here, entrepreneurs, Philippines, think about how you can sell your small business here, can sell products to China, to Korea, to Europe. As long as your service is good, product is good, you should be able to compete with any big companies. This is my belief. So EWTP is trying to build up a platform, not organization. I feel sorry for WTO. When you put 200 government ministers in a one room to agree on something, impossible. <laughs> right? But if we put the 2,000 business people in a one room, we can agree on something. The only thing when we want to do business. So EWTP, we work with WTO, is the, is the 2.0 version of WTO supporting small business, young people, that we encouraging every government to set free trade zones for small business. There are so many free trade zones in any country, but all these free trade zones are designed for big companies, for small business. If you want to sell things outside the country, the government will never give you 24 hours custom to clearance. Big company can, you cannot. So we want to build up a process, a platform, a way of doing business. Then every small business, you can global sell, global buy, global pay, global delivery, and global travel. And you can have a marketplaces online, and this is what we believe. I, we come here, Alibaba come here to the Philippines last night. I arrived like at 10 o'clock. We had a meeting, did not, we had a meeting until later 12, for two hours discussing how we can build up the infrastructure of doing business in Philippines. The payment system, the marketplace system, the logistics system, when we build up that, the purpose is to making sure these small business can sell their things to China, to, to the other part, to, to Malaysia. Now, the EWTP, the first project we launched is in Malaysia. And we hope that every country in Southeast Asia can join the EWTP. Every country have a free trade zones for small business entrepreneurs. They're a marketplace rich, there are money rich, logistic rich, mentorship training rich, and IT rich. So they can do business. This is what I want. Anywhere in the world, any young people in any country, open a mobile phone, you can order products from everywhere in the world, and then get the products within 72 hours. And this is the goal that we want to reach in 20 years. And EWTP today, the first sample we are testing in Malaysia, very good. So far, it's very good. So when we have that model, we will bring to Asia any countries if we are interested in. Well, I'm um, I'm a believer of the blockchain technology, and uh, we have a specific team in the company Ali Enter Financing focused on researching on that because. We are believer of globalization. We are believer of free trade. In the future, the global trade, global business, globalization, there are a lot of money transferring. What is the safest way? What is the most efficient way that to do that? So we put a lot of efforts on that. So I would say, let me say this about technology general wise. Company like us, we should not win our market by advertising dollars. We should win our market by innovation. 
Alibaba should not get our profit from the size of the business. We should get our profit from the technology that we be invested inside. We invested heavily nine years ago, started on cloud computing and big data. Now for financing, we invested heavily on blockchain. But Bitcoin and this, I'm not a big fan of that yet. Let me say this. Um, company like us, I think last century, if you have a technology, you want to keep it to yourself. Today, in 21st century, if you have a technology, the only way to make you powerful is enable others, even enable your competitors. So we, Alibaba, will spend billions of dollars on technology. And when we spend the money on the technology, we are making sure this technology is inclusive to the others. So blockchain technology is the big investment that we invest in on that. But we, as I say, we also would love to partner with others. others.